I want to go back to the court dysfunction issue for a second. Mm -hmm. um, gotten a lot of attention. Uh, much of it's centered on Justice Prosser. And of course, the most outrageous incident involved Justice Prosser and Justice um, yeah. Ann Walsh Bradley. Um, Justice Rogensack, to my knowledge, hasn't really been a huge part of that. Uh, how does removing her or electing you change that when really, the, the, at least to the uh, public, mm -hmm. the, the two who have been most involved in that are Ann Walsh Bradley and David Prosser? Well, to my mind, uh, Justice Rogensack has consistently diminished the nature of the problem. How so? Well, in, in today's newspaper, uh, your newspaper, uh, there's an article about uh, her proposed letter of apology mm -hmm. uh, arising out of the, the Prosser-Bradley incident that uh, she felt um, the entire court should issue a letter of apology, which did not identify either justice by name, that suggested the entire court apologized for, uh, I believe the word she used was inappropriate conduct, and that that would be um, a sufficient resolution of the physical altercation. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that is a far uh, less satisfactory alternative than allowing the regular disciplinary proceedings to go forward. Um, and it is certainly, uh, uh, it suggests a, a view that the incident is far less serious than many people believe it is. Um, she has also, Justice Rogensack has also uh, said that the court is doing just fine. Uh, she has dismissed uh, criticism of the dysfunction as gossip of the lowest sort. And, and to me, this is simply part of a pattern of her not according uh, sufficient seriousness to the inability of the court to get along. Uh, as another example is the, um, the question of public discussions of civility and measures that can be taken to improve civility at administrative meetings. Um, Justice Rogensack uh, led the, the move to make those administrative meetings private uh, in part because she didn't believe it was productive to have discussions on how to improve civility on the court. So again, I think she has been uh, uh, dismissive of the seriousness of the problem, and I'm not convinced that the problem can be solved if she's reelected.